home. Now, to put all that in perspective, Virginia ranks 49th out of 50 states in adopting foster children before they reach the age of 18 and out of the system. So Governor Bob McDonald created a campaign to get more children into loving, permanent homes. Heather Rosenbaum is live in Danville with more on this ABC 13 News special report tonight. And Heather, the governor says this should hit home for everyone. It's really hard for it not to, Danner. These kids have never been part of a family for more than just a few months at a time. A lot of them have never felt wanted or accepted, but now Governor McDonald is hoping to change that one child at a time. This is the first one that we adopted. Nicole Sloan and her husband have taken in so many children that numbers can't do it justice. We have not ever said no to a child. Josh Johnson is their latest child. In his 16 years, he's been through more hardship than most people have in a lifetime. How many families have you been with? Um, I have no idea, actually. I count. He guesses in a 12-year span, he's had more than 20 homes. I'll be with the family for like three, three to four months, and then like something will happen, and then I'll end up like getting kicked out, and then I'll go to a different one. Things like drug use, heated arguments that forced him to bounce from home to home. For Johnson, love feels like a foreign concept, but temporary is all too familiar. Six months ago, he joined the Sloan family with three biological children, four officially adopted kids, a foster child here and there, and now Josh, they put the Brady Bunch to shame. I think our house is a little more hectic than this. Josh seems like a typical teenager who obsesses over music and finding a good beat. That's pretty it. Johnson can't remember his biological parents or how old he was when he first went up for adoption. It's kids like Josh whom Governor McDonald is on a mission to get adopted and find them homes like this one. It's the kind of thing that just warms your heart to know that you've, uh, you've made a change in a young person's life. It's all part of his Virginia Adopts campaign. Largely through social media and rallies, the governor hopes to make people aware of the many children in need of adoption. Adoption does more than help a child or family. It impacts the entire state. It's real life savings and it's literally creating joy and opportunity in the life of a, of a person. McDonald admits taking in an older child can have its challenges, but he argues so does parenting a biological child. Every parent knows there are ups and downs. Nicole Sloan has seen the downs. In the past, she's been attacked by some of her adopted children. I've had my jaw broke. I've had my um, arm broke. You know, it's not, it's not necessarily pleasant, it's, but it's necessary. And every time they've kept the child, in fact, the one that broke her bones still lives under her roof and has adjusted to a new way of life. She says parental challenges should never steer a parent away from adopting. Sloan and her husband say no matter what a child does, they will still love them. Those are really tough kids, but they're still children. For Josh, that means he now has a family that will be there for his graduation. This is probably the only placement I've been into and actually thought it was family. In December, the paperwork will be filed to legally bring Josh into this family. But if you ask the Sloans, he's already one of them. When you walk through our door, you are ours. End of story. The Sloans say people ask them all the time, when are they going to stop adopting? Their answer is whenever God stops sending children to them. Danner. Now, Heather, let's talk about numbers here. You talked about that a little bit during your story. Governor McDonald says adopting can actually save taxpayers money. Yeah, Dana, McDonald put $1.5 million into the budget to help with advocacy and post-adoptive services. He says the average child that ages out of the foster care system without a family costs taxpayers $300,000 throughout their lifetime. We actually have more information about the campaign at WSET.com. Reporting live in Danville, Heather Rosenbaum, ABC 13 News. Hey, Mom. Almost there. 